You know, I want to start off our first nigga in the news. I I want to I want to talk about I want to talk about Kanye West uh having to change uh divorce lawyers. Kanye West having to change divorce lawyers because this shit is so out of control. And and I want to mention Kanye West changing divorce lawyers to flow in to talk about Kim. Now let me tell y'all something, man. I, I just want to tap in, man. I want to, I want to, I want to give some game. I want to give some game because I want to talk about, I want to talk about Cleopatra bitches right now. You understand me? I want to talk about Cleopatra bitches. I had one of my, um, I had one of my people's. Hit me up. He was like, "Ball smack, man." Back in the days, man, you used to talk about Cleopatra bitches, and you know what I'm saying. And um, used to be giving that that esoteric type of game that niggas wasn't even conscious of. You know what I'm talking about? And see, when I say that term, Cleopatra bitch, a lot of y'all niggas is like, "What the fuck is Ball Smack talking about?" What well, a Ball Smack is talking about, Queen Cleopatra. Queen Cleopatra from back in the days, from from back in, you know, from back in Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? And this is a bitch who destroyed two prominent motherfuckers. You understand me? She she destroyed Julius Caesar. You hear me? And Mark Antony. Both of them died because of this bitch. You understand me? Cause she, 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 she manipulated. She manipulated them and got them distracted and and, and caught up in the herd. If you if you fuck with the art of seduction, get the likes up. If you fuck with the art of seduction, if you ever heard of that, if you ever heard of Robert Greene and he put out, he had the art of seduction. You know, they be talking about Cleopatra. Cleopatra. What's so special about Cleopatra? Cleopatra was the last uh, ruler over Egypt. This was right when Egypt was about to fall off. She was the last one. You know what I'm talking about? She was the last one. So she had to use all her feminine skills to manipulate a motherfucker and to get him on her side. So she manipulated Julius Caesar, distracted him, got him fucked off, made him fucked off, and he got fucked off. Right? Then she manipulated... The next motherfucker after Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, manipulated him and fucked him off. Now, who's my favorite modern Cleopatra bitch so niggas can feel the relevance? Kim Kardashian is a Cleopatra bitch out here. You understand me? She... Manipulated Kanye, right? Put him under the thumb, right? Then ran off, ran, had one kid, then ran off three more surrogates as to not fuck off her body. You understand me? Now, you can say, well, man, that's only one motherfucker that got manipulated, Boss Mac. No. Ray J got manipulated. Reggie Bush got manipulated. A couple of NBA niggas got manipulated. And it seemed like they energy was transferred over to a bitch. You understand me? Now, I know niggas is like, Boss Mac, yeah, that's weird. I don't understand none of that. But really, it's happening right in front of your eyes. Their whole family is that. Cleopatra bitches. And Cleopatra. 
You understand me? Was a uh, uh uh she could change herself into any kind of appearance. She could provide any type of sexual stimulation, any type of pleasure, complete distraction to a nigga. You understand me? And Cleopatra used having kids as part of the game. She had a kid for Julius Caesar and used the kid to manipulate shit. And she had kids for Mark Antony and used that to manipulate shit. What's happening to Kanye right now? You hear me? Now, I said all that to say this. I was looking at, um, I was looking at a new shit right here. I know y'all seen this right here. How the bitch met Pete Davidson. I know y'all seen this. Let me, let me turn on the music and let's hear this. Let's hear how she, let's hear how she got into Pete, Pete Davidson. Now. Let's, let's check it out. Not give me the time of day. So a few days later, I called the producer at SNL and I was like, hey, do you have Pete's number? And they were like, yeah. And I text him. I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, heard about this BDE, need to get out there. Like I need to just like jumpstart my... I was just basically DTF. Everyone was at my after party. Just not giving okay. me the time of day. Okay, right here. So, a few days later, I called the producer at SNL and I was like, hey, do you have Pete's number? And they were like, yeah. And I text him. I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, heard about this BDE, need to get out there. This like, BDE. Like, Jumpstart my... I was just basically DTF. Okay. Everyone was at my after Now, let me, let me, let me, let me elaborate on some shit. See, uh, you know, I know niggas is like, boss, man. You know, how does that, what does that have to do with me? Right? Mm. Well, you know, hey, I believe bitches a bitch a, a bitch with the skills can transfer your energy over to her if you not focus you understand me a bitch can transfer her your energy over to her now when i look at kim all the niggas that fuck with her ain't at a hundred percent no more you understand me is it Ain't at a hundred percent no more. Now, I know y'all like, man, I you know, how could a regular bitch do that to me? Well, you can get caught up into a bitch, right? You feel me? And you could be so into her, right? That she transfer your shit over to her. Because you're trying to maintain the bitch. You feel me? You The bitch become the center of your shit. You feel me? It's a cold game. It's beautiful. They whole family is that. They whole family. And you got to check. You got to. You, you, you can tap in. Travis Scott. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Travis Barker what, what the, what's the, the other dude you understand me and 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 what's a what's a and I know this sound but what I'm finna say sound brazy as fuck is Cleopatra the real Cleopatra was was doing this around Armenia you feel me she was doing this around Armenia and these bitches is Armenians Y'all don't hear me talking. Niggas don't hear me. 
Niggas don't hear me. Cleopatra bitches. You feel me? Is it a bitch around you like that? Because those are big ones. It's little ones. You know a famous Cleopatra bitch from back in the days, you know, the one I, I drew my first example on was Shawnee O'Neal. Y'all know who Shawnee O'Neal is? Used to, it used to be with Shaq back in the days. Used to be with Shaq. I cry. Hey, I knew the nigga who used to fuck with Shawnee when he was in high school. You feel me? I knew the nigga who fucked with Shawnee O'Neal when he was in high school. You understand me? And Shawnee climbed, left him, dumped him, and he was having paper. And he was a nigga having paper. And climbed over niggas until she got the shot. And, 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 um, you know, I think that was the downfall of Shaq, kind of. In the end, I'm just saying, man, hey, 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 Cleopatra bitches. I just wanted to make a notation on that. Niggas could feel that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, a, just a little bit of game right there. You know, just, 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 just skimming the surface. You know what I'm talking about? You know, now, what, what, what can you do to, what can you do to defend yourself against that? What you do is not put a bitch up on the pedestal and worship the bitch. You can't, it, you, you, you got to make sure there's you that's up on the pedestal. You understand me? You got to make sure you the nigga up on the pedestal. You can't put you can't put bitches up on the pedestal and worship the bitch. You feel me? And if you notice, all the niggas that fuck with Kim Kardashian worship her. If you pay close attention to that. Get the likes up. Shout out to the chat. Oh yeah, Devin Booker. Reggie Reggie Bush was never the same. Reggie Bush was never the same. Reggie Bush was never the same. Look what this bitch said. Let me pull up some more shit. Let me pull up some more shit. Look what this bitch said. This bitch said this. This bitch. This bitch said. She would eat shit if it made her look younger. You understand me? She said she would eat shit if it made her look younger. Get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. You feel me? Man. But anyway. I'm using Dom is live. You know, I got to use these other motherfuckers to get this game. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to use these these little young niggas to get this game. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I just, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to give game. You know what I'm saying? You know, just a little something. And another nigga in the nose. Another nigga in the nose now. I want to, I want to, now, see, we talking about Cleopatra bitches, see, you see how, shout out to, uh, seven, the gentleman, see, we talking about Cleopatra bitches, shout out seven, the gentleman, see, we talking about Cleopatra bitches. And, 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 you know, I'm transitioning into Amber Heard. You understand me? Because she's a, she's a Cleopatra bitch. She tried. She really, she really, she really tried to get uh, Johnny Depp. But 
Johnny Depp some kind of way was able to 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 shake loose public opinion. So many people love him. But Amber Heard. 